The veteran race campaigner, activist and chair of the pressure group Black Activists Rising Against Cuts, Lee Jasper, has caused a flurry of headlines this week after it was reported that he said black people in the UK can't be racist. Now, his comments prompted a war of words on Twitter between Lee, who you'll hear from very shortly, and a former advisor to the Conservatives. This is how Mr Chowdhury responded when interviewed by the BBC earlier this week. And with regard to that comment, I came back straight away and said, so Lee, you're saying that I, as an ethnic minority, as mm-hmm. an Asian, can't be racist, or you could never be racist, mm-hmm. at which point he then reversed the argument to, I, it's amazing that an Asian is attacking an African on Twitter, which, which isn't an, which an answer to that question. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have, really have no idea what he has at no point justified what he means. He said prejudice and power. Mm-hmm. If you look at the definition of racism, um, I've spent a long time this morning looking at that, actually. And it says prejudice or discrimination directed against someone of a different race based on such a belief. That is racism mm. in its entirety. He's now turning it into black people can't be racist, white people can't be racist. I mean, it, it, I'm one of those people, he said at the beginning, I can't be racist, and then call me a racist. Well, I'm pleased to say Lee Jasper is here to explain this afternoon. Lee, welcome to BBC Radio Nottingham. Hello. Were you quoted correctly when you said that no black person in the UK can be racist? Absolutely, 100%. It's uh, not a new story. It's a position I've held for the last 30 years. And really, it relates to having a very clear political definition of racism. Of course, you can look in the Oxford Dictionary and find the definition of racism. It can equally apply to peoples all over the world. But you cannot uh, make a a definition of racism that is devoid of geography, history and culture. Uh, And the culture of European racism is one in which uh, gives rise to the phenomena of institutionalized racism that discriminates wholesale against black people. And so, for example, you know, black people cannot uh, uh, stop, uh, as were stopped on the streets of London last year by the Met Police, 140,000 black people, but yet only... 138,000 138, were guilty of no crime and faced no charge. Now, that's a kind of industrial level of institutionalized racism uh, that comes about from, a, from this culture of racism. So, first of all, you've got to define what racism is, and it's prejudice plus power. Now, black people can be bigoted, we can be ignorant, we can be racially offensive, but we can't start excluding white kids from school. We can't start enforcing mass racial profiling through stop and search and, uh, and seek to stop and search and arrest hundreds of thousands of white people. We can't enforce 50% black youth unemployment. And so while we can be racially offensive, the term racism has become uh, so sloppy in its, in its application and its sort of uh, popular definition that it gives rise to uh, undermining our own cause. And that's partly the reason why the uh, right wing uh, will say, look, this is politically correctness gone mad because, uh, you know, you want to hear the white person make a racially offensive remark uh, and the accusation coming from some on the left and some in the black community is that person is a racist. Well, for me, a racist is slightly more elevated than somebody who's made an ignorant remark in public. And I think it's uh, this whole confusion around this sort of casual press-like, applic- tabloid-like application of the term racism uh, there's no relation to English and uh, European geography, history or culture that gives rise to the confusion. Having said that, in the clip we just heard of Azaz Chowdhury there, he says you haven't justified what you mean. Well, we Is have. I mean, I didn't justify it on that show, but we, uh, Azam Chowdhury and I did another show earlier in that morning, and so he's being completely disingenuous. I didn't do the Vanessa Feltz show because I think Vanessa Feltz is a, 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 present, a BBC presenter who is riven with racial bias when it comes to discussing black issues. And so forth. I refuse to have a debate with her on that show. But I did other debates with Azam Chowdhury in which I fully explained what the rationale uh, was uh, for it. And in the end, he was accused, even by Vanessa, who I have issues with, of uh, entering into some childish schoolboy dispute. That was the accusation that was put to him. Uh, my proposition to him is... I, I don't believe black people can be racist. I don't believe... Uh, well, you're a member of a Tory party whose policies are propagating racism. That was my challenge to him. He chose to interpret it as me accusing him of being a racist, which is all part of the sort of Tory smoke and mirror sleight of hand sophistry uh, that like, seeks to confuse the majority of people. I'm very clear. 
extremely clear that people in the United Kingdom and Europe cannot be racist. However, if you were to go to Africa, you could find racism uh, uh, being uh, uh, deployed by black people. Uh, and there's exam historical examples of that. But right here in the European and, uh, and, and the UK, there is no way you can instigate, maintain, uh, and propagate institutional racism on the scale that I've talked about. In hindsight, do you think Twitter was the right place to make your comments? Absolutely. I mean, it's great. I mean, the, the, the controversy is called uh, as uh, resonated globally. I've had calls from Australia, Vienna, the US, all around the world. People are talking about this issue, and I shall tell you why. Because as austerity bites, people are seeing a rise in racism in their domestic countries. And people are now thinking, okay, are black people being scapegoated? Are ethnic minority communities being scapegoated in the Western nations of Europe, Australia, uh, and other nations uh, uh, as a consequence of seeking to divert public opinion away from these vast austerity, austerity cuts? So as the austerity cuts deepen, so racism itself will become worse as people seek to scapegoat our communities. So now is exactly the right time. And using a forum, uh, 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 a forum and a medium like Twitter, while it has its uh, limitations on 140 characters, mm. uh, nevertheless, you can uh, get a very uh, high-profile discussion started, as we have on this particular issue, on an issue that is worthy of greater sort of, you know, clarity, ventilation and understanding.